favorite Friday. My clock here in my little office shows about eight minutes till five. And I'm about to speak on the topic, wisdom keys that changed my life or wisdom keys that improved my life. And I'm holding a, my notes here. It's very powerful. Words change everything. God gave us a mouth to manage your mind. Your mind collects everything you can see around you. But your words decide what you want to remember. I wish I had the ability to communicate the power of a sentence, the power of a word. I spent eight hours one day writing a two-page letter to partners. Preachers had gone with me to Disneyland in Orlando, Florida. While they were riding all the rides, I was writing my partners. Eight hours later, I finally had the letter. Is there a difference between yes and no? Yesterday and tomorrow? Yes. One word changes the reception to a conversation. Your countenance is part of that. I want you to join me here. It was going to be for preachers, but it's for everybody on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Mike Murdoch here. 57 years in ministry to 92 countries. A lot inside me. I love books. Books have changed my life. There's 25 reasons I write books. One of them is to stop mistakes. One of them is to create discerning of your assignment. I really appreciate you being in my world. The world's too big for one man. It's too big for seven trillion. We need each other. We really do need each other. I want to emphasize again that God allows you to collect information. Arrogance won't listen. The arrogant are know-it-alls. And that's why the Bible said if you're a humble person, you can succeed at the highest level. Humble people are willing to listen. The first quality of wisdom is Proverbs 1, verse 5. A wise man listens. A wise man will hear. Listening is the seed for knowledge. Knowledge is the seed for changes. And your whole future depends on what you're willing to change. This morning I wrote a bunch of notes early, 4.30 in my prayer time. I called my Jesus hour that your success depends on what you're willing to stop doing. Your future is determined by what you're willing to stop doing. No gives you permission to say yes. No to sin. No to evil. No to lying. And the Lord comes upon the scene. Follow me right now. Better go in there, the other room. I hope you'll. These are some wisdom keys that's really affected me.